I want to ask one question. During our practice, after uh, surgery, we are looking for residual disease. And actually, we are doing uh, iodine uptake uh, 24 hours. And according to that, we are doing our plan. So if we have patients who have more than 10% uh, residual disease in the neck, actually with this risk stratifications, do you advise uh, if you have more than 10% to do re exchange if there is a disease, especially if you have low risk or high risk patient, or to treat the patients by uh, radioidine direct. So I want to hear it from the radioidine and also from uh, the risk group, please. Um, as you said, um, actually after surgery, uh, we do a radio iodine test for planning the radio iodine ablation therapy. In Germany, if the uptake, uh, if the uptake is more than 15%, uh, actually we send the patients back to the surgeon to be operated again. Uh, uh, despite uh, 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 to surgery, but under 50%, uh, we do the 15%, we do the radio iodine ablation. But sometimes, uh, because of some uh, problems or contraindications, or if the patients don't want to have an operation, we perform the radio iodine ablation first with 50 millicurie for, the, uh, uh, for ablation of the residual thyroid tissue, and three months later, we do uh, uh, with 100 millicurie. But it does not uh, depend to low risk or high risk. Okay. Do you have any comment, Dr. Ari? Or, uh, um, basically, as I mentioned, really, the uh, radioactive iodine, uh, again, I, I do personally uh, do consider really whether it's a low risk or intermediate uh, risk. And the low risk patient, um, but for the majority of them, when we decide really to give radioactivity, uh, and I'm going to give you my own uh, experience because uh, we did a little bit of a small survey in our patient going through surgery. And then despite really the, uh, the, um, the uh, confirmation and then the insistence from the part of the surgeon that they perform total thyroidectomy when the need is there, uh, we have realized that actually uh, it's, uh, the percentage is very low. So we don't have the luxury of really having surgeon that perform really true complete thyroidectomy. On that basis, we have been performing, as really been mentioned by, Doug, uh, by, by my colleague, that, uh, that um, uh, total uh, with the thyroid scanning. Now, we haven't been doing it before really giving radioactivity. We have been giving, doing the scanning after giving as a therapeutic total by whole body scan rather than, than preceding the radioactive iodine dose treatment. And then one of the issues here, but again, I take his point and I think really that's quite relevant uh, uh, because we have been doing ultrasound on them and I hope I will not have people again saying that really what's the place of uh, uh, nuclear medicine. And if I, I find that really there's enough residual disease by ultrasound, then I'll tell the surgeon you need to go back and do the surgery again. If really the disease is, uh, the disease is minimal, uh, I would be afraid from the stunning effect because we have been allowed to use only 131 and none, one, not 123. And on that basis, we give them radioactivity and follow that up with uh, post-therapeutic scan. Okay, thank you. A small question for uh, Dr. Abdulaziz. Uh, with these promising agents which are coming in, although we do not uh, get a CR in any of the studies, but at least there is some option for the patients who cannot be treated otherwise. What do you think of serafinib as an MKI against the other TKIs for uh, treating papillary carcinoma, thyroid in specific? Thank you. So if I, if I understand you well, what's, what's, what, what do you think about serafinib suitant? A a comparison uh, of serafinib yeah. as yeah. an MKI versus other TKIs, specifically for papillary thyroid carcinoma. Well, so far, as I mentioned, like the, the, the only FDA-approved uh, multi inhibitor, uh, it's, it's the serafinib. Uh, so, uh, and that, that showed its efficacy in phase three trial. Uh, so, so uh, and this is in differentiated thyroid cancers metastatics, which includes papillary thyroid. Papillary thyroid cancer, if it is refractory to radioiodine or metastatic disease. Uh, 